Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. My name is Faye and today we're talking about formulas for dry lips. Now I have super dry lips, like I exfoliate, I put lip masks on and they're still dry. I think they're just always going to be dry and I know that dry lips is a thing that lots of people struggle with and it becomes a problem when you're putting on makeup because you apply lipsticks, you like particularly liquid lipsticks and they can just look so terrible. Like if you have dry flaky patches it just doesn't look good and you kind of end up sticking to glosses and stuff like that because it's the only thing that looks okay on your lips and also you know things like liquid lipsticks can dry your lips out even more so then your lips are even worse and then you're just in a big mess so i thought i would show you some of my favorite formulas for lipsticks liquid lipsticks pigmented glosses um and all that so let's get started i'm going to start with liquid lip because this i think is the most challenging if you have dry lips to get a formula that is pigmented that dries down matte that isn't going to budge but that isn't super drying and it doesn't show up dryness on your lips is really hard and my absolute number one favorite liquid lip formula is by gosh now gosh is not a brand that i've heard talked about a huge amount here on youtube i don't know if gosh is available in the united states that might be why it doesn't come up as much as a lot of other brands but it is available in the uk they sell it at superdrug and their liquid lip formula is brilliant now i have three shades i have this one the red i have chinese rouge and i have my favorite nude nougat fudge and now i'll quickly swatch these on my hands for you so you can see it's really really pigmented it goes on really smoothly, it's not patchy at all. So that was, so this one is Nougat Fudge. Here we have a really nice bright, sort of slightly corally pink, that's Chinese Rouge. And finally, the red, which is a straight up red slight brick kind of undertone definitely slightly warmer it's a really wearable red if you have a slightly warmer skin tone it's not going to make your skin color look weird now these formulas are really pigmented really creamy you're not going like back and forth trying to build up the color you can just swipe them on i think i'll pop one on my actual lips for you so you can see i think with this more cool toned look by the way if you want to see the video on this look it will be up later in the week um, I'm going to go with the nude Nougat Fudge. Look at that. Now it doesn't dry down immediately, so you have a little bit of time to, you know, get the line correct around the edge of your lips to blend it all together. So you're not in a rush trying to get the liquid lipstick on before it dries. For me personally, I think that is just perfect. It's creamy, it's blendable, it's pigmented. The applicator is good, it's nice and stiff so you can get a nice clean line. I mean, I will admit, I am not the best at drawing a clean line with a liquid lipstick wand. I would usually use a liner as well. It's not dry yet, but it will dry down to a comfortable matte over a little bit of time. It's not sticky. You don't get those weird lines. I mean, I just love it. I think it's a great formula and one that is not talked about enough. Warning, it does stain a little bit. Just to show you like how budge proof this stuff is, I just tried to wash these swatches off and I actually used an oil cleanser, the kind of cleanser that you put on dry skin and massage in and then rinse off. And you could still see where the swatches were on my hand. So this is a really, really long lasting formula. It does stain a tiny bit. My other favourite matte formula for lips is by Peri Pera and it is the Ink Velvet Tints. Now these also come with a doe foot applicator, they come in a wide range of more like nude, pink and red kind of coral type of colours. These are super comfortable to wear on the lips. Now I actually had one of these on at the very beginning of the video before I put this liquid lip on and I hadn't applied it with the wand, what I'd done is put a little bit on my finger and just smudged it on with my finger to put on a matte 
tint and you can use it that way have a really subtle blurred out matte look or you can apply it with the wand for a more pigmented effect if i just apply that on there you can see here it's not as pigmented and full coverage as the gosh one but it gives a really really pretty blurred out effect it kind of looks almost a little bit powdery when it dries down the lips but it feels super comfortable i just had a panic that i wasn't recording but i was so it's fine um that was shade oh it doesn't have a label on it it's usually a label on the bottom and there isn't one i don't know what shade that is this shade though i know is shade seven so you can see the second one here is shade seven and slightly lighter and brighter but this this is a favorite sort of this is a favorite darker nude of mine this one that doesn't have a number like i'm really puzzled as to what shade that is that's really weird i'm sorry about that but there's nothing i can do they also do stain the lips for a tint so you can see where i've smudged it out there you can still see the original patch where it was applied where it's stained I really should have just left my mouth like open while this liquid lipstick dried rather than talking but I didn't so it's sticking my lips together slightly where it hasn't dried yet as I'm trying to talk yep these are great but do do apply them and then let them dry unlike me uh moving on now to some more traditional lipstick formulas I've got some more glossy sheer coverage but still pigmented lipsticks and I've got some slightly more matte finish lipsticks. Um, none of these lipsticks are super, super matte, unlike the um, two I've just talked about. They're more of a traditional lipstick formula. So on the glossy end, I have this from Kiko. Now, this is the old packaging. This is the Stylo lipstick. It has a new packaging now, but it's still called the Stylo. And this is a lovely hydrating formula. You can see here, it's pigmented but it's really creamy. There's more on. This is a lovely lipstick. I don't use this color very often because I don't use a whole lot of purple in my makeup, but it is a really beautiful formula. Kiko make a lot of different lipsticks in a lot of different colors. Like their range is really big. So they make matte, they make hydrating, they have a jelly stylo, which is like a slightly sheerer and very hydrating stylo formula. They have honestly, so many lipsticks so if you can go to a kiko store and swatch the different formulas i'm sure you will find a formula that suits you because they just have such a big range another really hydrating just lovely lipstick is from beauty pie now beauty pie makeup has been a bit hit and miss for me i've been trying a whole load of it out i'm going to do a full beauty pie review but these are great these lipsticks just, it's not written on it what, what it's called god damn it I will put the name of the range of lipsticks up. This shade is Total Riot and it's a really lovely red. If I just uh, swatch that here. You can see it went on really smoothly. It's a really hydrating formula as well, but it's still really pigmented. And the nudes that they make as well as this, I mean, this red is pretty, but I have a nude from them, which is just perfect in this formula it's great for just every day you can throw it on it's the kind of formula that you can just keep in your handbag and apply without even looking at your face you know if you don't have a mirror you can easily just whack it on and it's gonna look great like and it never highlights any dryness by the way i just like to point out this liquid lipstick now has dried down mostly not quite yet you say it does take a while because it is like a more creamy and slightly hydrating liquid lipstick but you can see that it doesn't highlight any like dry patches or flakiness on the lips so that is why i love the gosh liquid lipsticks um back to hydrating formula lipsticks the glam stick from rodile now these kind of come and go like on the rodile website sometimes they're there sometimes they're not when they're there they're often on sale though for like five pounds so these ones i've got two or maybe three actually from Rodile and they, I got them all for five pounds off the website in sales. This is another, where should I put it here? Really creamy formula. They're, oh, fluffed up to it. They're super comfortable, slightly sheerer in color. You can build them up, like you can put one swipe on and it'll be quite sheer. 
but you can put some Morse wipes on and it will be more pigmented. But they're again a really lovely hydrating lipstick formula. Two from brands that you'll probably be familiar with. Number seven, this is a lovely lipstick. This is the Stay Perfect lipsticks. And these are also really hydrating, like just a little swizzle on my hand there. They're pigmented and they're creamy and they're great for every day. And another one that you probably will be familiar with, so I won't talk about it a lot, is the Colour Riche from L'Oreal. Really good drugstore lipstick. You can get it in boots. This is, this is quite a sheer natural pink shade. This is the J-Lo lipstick from their like special collection. Yeah, you can see it's got like a little J-Lo signature on it. I've got a bunch. I've got like one that's called Eva that was Eva Longoria's and like a few other different ones. Basically all different shades of nude. But again, it's a really lovely everyday formula. Now these formulas are not going to be long lasting on the lips. They are going to be ones that you keep in your handbag and you have to reapply because it's a, tradi it's a traditional lipstick. If you want something that's going to stay, go for this or the Peri Para um, ink tints. But these, I mean, I'm a big fan of just traditional lipsticks because I have dry lips and, you know, L'Oreal, L'Oreal are good and reliable and they make some good lipstick. Um, Clinique. Clinique, I love Clinique products and the Clinique Pop ranges are great. So this is the Clinique Lip Pop Plus Primer. Now, I don't know exactly what is in this stuff, but it applies so beautifully on dry lips. Like if you have super dry lips, like noticeable patchiness and flakiness, I would really recommend the Lip Pop Plus Primer because these just go on so beautifully. Now, there's another a swatch there. You can see it's a reasonably pigmented and creamy lipstick they come in a bunch of beautiful shades and of all the lipsticks i would say these just apply magically on dry lips these are so great for dry lips i also do really like the even better pop lip color foundation i mean what a long name this is a slightly more matte formula but it's from the same kind of pop collection you can see this one here it's a really nice dark nude color pigmented still creamy, slightly more matte than something like the um, Rodial or the um, Beauty Pie. They're so, okay, so many swatches now. That bright red is the Beauty Pie and this one here is the Rodial. So you can see here the Clinique ones, slightly more matte, but still creamy, still really great on dry lips. Um, Again, a slightly more matte and long lasting lipstick formula is another one from Gosh. Really nice, simple packaging. This is the Velvet Touch lipstick. You can get from the name that it's going to be slightly more matte. I'm running out, I'm running out of space. I'll swatch it on my, swatch it on my wrist here. So it's not, it's not matte matte. You can still see it really went on as a nice glide. It wasn't like stiff like some matte lipsticks are. So it's not like super matte but it is slightly more matte than some of these other formulas that I've showed you. And these are really nice. They're really pigmented. This is Shocking Coral, and I personally really love this shade. I think it's a great shade for summer with a really simple eye look. It really is beautiful. Again, they make several shades of this. Um, you can find them on Superdrug, and they're really good quality lipsticks. Finally, I want to talk about some more gloss type things. Now, with dry lips, you can pretty much always wear gloss like gloss is your friend when you have dry lips so it's not really anything special to talk about glosses because all glosses are, okay, are okay for dry lips but these ones are super pigmented so if you're looking for actual color and impact on the lips but in a glossy formula these are great one you will definitely know already is the NYX butter gloss now I'm not going to swatch this because I feel like everyone knows what NYX butter glosses are like I'll just I'll just watch it anyway this particular shade is Peach Cobbler. That makes me hungry. Um, so that one here on my wrist, you can see it's slightly more like pinky than this one here, which is the Rodale Glam Stick. But they're really lovely gloss formulas. They're very thick. Oh, I've got my <laughs> I put my thumb in the in the gosh lipstick, so now I'm covered in lipstick. Um, they're quite sticky, I will say that. They do have quite a thick, say, luxurious formula. But if you want a gloss with pigment, they're really good. And finally, for more gloss slash tint, is the Misha, Misha, <laughs> Misha, Misha Wishstone Tint Oil. These also come in several shades. This is shade, what shade is this? 
I think it was a shade five. I don't know, it's all in Korean on the back, so I can't read it. Again, doe foot applicator, really, really pigmented gloss formula here. And this tints as well. This is a stain as well as a gloss. So even once the gloss wears off, you have that stain underneath that's more long lasting that keeps that color on your lips if you can't be bothered to reapply it super often. So personally, I, I love anything that's like a gloss that also stains because it gives you that slightly more long wearing aspect that a normal non-tinting gloss doesn't have. And that is everything. Um, I'm now covered in lipstick. Um, I hope this was helpful, but I think particularly talking about good liquid lipsticks for dry lips is helpful and I definitely, I love these gosh liquid lipsticks, like so much better than the NYX ones, just saying. Like I had a NYX lip lingerie, cause it just knocked a bunch of shit over. I got some NYX lip lingerie lipsticks because everyone was raving about them and I was like, what? Why do people like these? Like seriously, like I did not like them at all. Like I think the gosh ones are way superior and they're not even like super expensive. Like none of, well, I say none of these are really expensive. Um, the Clinique lipsticks are probably the most expensive. The glam sticks you can buy on sale. Um, the Beauty Pie is aff very affordable if you are a subscriber to Beauty Pie. Um, and the rest of these are all drugstore or what I would call drugstore comparable as in like they're affordable like in the in a western drugstore you're not going to find the Peri Peri um and you're not going to find Misha you you would in a drugstore elsewhere in the world but here you're not going to find um those but you can find them online for very affordable prices and I will link I will link everything below so that you can go look at them online and check out other shades and the prices and all of that good stuff. Um, that is everything for today. I hope this was helpful and I hope that you are happy and healthy and well and uh, enjoying the week so far. And I will see you all in the next video, which is this look, how it looked at the start before I put this liquid lipstick on. Um, so yeah, if you wanna see this look, this is all K-beauty, um, like a dewy, glowy like healthy skin type of look for drier skin types like combination dry I would say um yeah if you want to see that come back later in the week bye